Okay guys, so first we're going to start off with the L'Oreal Paris Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. We're just going to spread that all over our face. Here I am using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. This one is in the color Golden Tan. We're just going to buff that into our skin really, really nicely. Next, we're going to take NYX's HD Photogenic Concealer and we're just going to highlight under the eye, conceal any dark circles that you may have, and just kind of work that into our under eye area. This brush that I'm using is actually from Sedona Lace. I will put all the information down below in the description bar if you're interested. Um, I just, I think it's part of the Midnight uh, Face and Eye Collection or something like that. Um, I just go in, spread the product, and then I use my finger to kind of blend and work it into the skin. Back to the eyebrows, I'm using my, um, I used to love this thing, but this is the Maybelline Definer Brow in medium and dark brown or something like that. I use it just to outline my brows and kind of give it the shape that I want. And then I will go in with powder, which you will see in a second. Here I am using the light powder, the light brown color from the e.l.f. duo, um, the eyebrow duo, and then I will go in with uh, the Wet n Wild brow kit just to kind of darken up the arch and to fill out any of the outer parts of my brow. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. We're just going to prime our lids. Again, this is uh, this brush is part of the Midnight Collection from Sedona Lace. Um, I just used it to kind of blend the primer. I really actually like to use a brush now, so that's just preference. Here we're actually using the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay and we're taking Naked 2 and just kind of placing that in our crease as our blending transition color um, so it makes the blending all a lot easier flow together. Um, and then we are taking WOS Walk of Shame and putting that on our lid. It's like a flesh tone uh, color so again it's all about blending and making sure it looks uh, pretty well put together and then we are taking faint it's the uh, matte brown color in the palette just placing that color on the outer corner with a small shader brush and then we're going to take a blending brush and just blend that all together For the liquid liner, we are using ELF's uh, liquid liner. <laughs> we're just going to do a fairly big, not thick, but fairly thick, I guess, um, winged out cat eye. Taking a cool liner, we're just going to tight line the top lid as well as bring it down to the lash line and water line. Next, we're going to take Crave from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette again, and we are going to smoke out the lower lash line just so it's not so top heavy, and it's kind of proportionate with the top and bottom. Time for lashes. These are the, what is it, Lacy's, I believe, by Ardell. Um, they look kind of dramatic in the packaging, but once you actually wear them, they're not so bad. So I really like them right now. For contour, we are taking Benefit Tula Bronzer. We're just going to contour slightly, obviously, with, you know, the cheekbones, the hairline, yada, yada. For blush, this is Max Melba. Um, blush <laughs> and we're just gonna dust that on our cheeks and then we are taking this NYX illuminator um, I don't know what it's called I will put it down below it's like my favorite highlighter at the moment I'm not sure if it takes the place of my Mary luminizer but pretty close 
And then we're just going to add mascara to our bottom lashes. Um, this is the Telescopic by L'Oreal. Love it, love it, love it. Here I'm just actually putting concealer right on the outsides of my lips so it prepares for my lip liner and that's kind of where it bleeds so I like to put concealer out there especially when I'm wearing a colored lip. And then we are taking Silver Lilac, I think this is by Jordana, um, you can get it at Walgreens and we're just lining our lips kind of filling it in with color so it doesn't bleed again and then we are taking our lip color which is from the Vivid collection um, by Maybelline and it is Brazen Berry so pretty so we're gonna spray our face make sure it stays on all night and you're good to go now moving on to our hair so I'm taking my favorite big sexy root pump and I'm just gonna spray that uh, obviously to the roots and then I got a new blow dryer after the one I've had for like 15 years um, this is from hairenvy.com I will put the information down below I love it so much you have a bunch of settings um, it can go uh, from warm to hot to cool uh, different levels and it gets hot really really fast oh look my light went off but um, my hair is fresh out the shower right out the shower so I did do the process twice um, I just like the volume and then I go in with just uh, hot rollers and um, the root pump really helps here because as the the roller set with your hair um, obviously it gives it volume so um, I do the whole head and then I just kind of let it sit for 20 minutes or so I'll do my you know makeup well in this case I already have my makeup done but I'll go ahead and do whatever I need to do and then I'll actually go in with hairspray um, and then I'll use the hair dryer again to set the hairspray the, the curlers have already cooled so I just like to go in with some extra hold in there and then I take the curlers out and fluff 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 away now here I'm just adding more fluff I'm teasing Ashley does like really really big hair so I'm going in I'm teasing again um, and then I'm just actually gonna uh, pin some hair back I normally would just go out like this or put some extensions in or whatever but um, I decided to actually pin back my hair today so it's a special occasion why not right now moving on to the outfit the earrings and bracelets accessories are from forever 21 and Charlotte Russe and then the shoes I got not too long ago from Steve Madden they were on sale and I love them so much the bandage dress, hello, is very sexy for Valentine's Day and I got it for from ForTheFabulous.com so I will put their information down below. I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye!